Hello everybody and welcome on back to baseball right here on youtube.com slash Rex. My name is Sean. Today we are continuing our Mariners 2022 season playthrough where you get a game every single day at 7 p.m. Pacific time, including postseason action, hopefully. I guess fingers crossed. Um, we're looking pretty good. We're 83 and 58. Lost the last game, but that's all right. Who is Scar? Yona? You don't know. No. You know what? You know what? I'm not sure. I'm not trying to butcher it. I'm just bad at names. Twelve and uh, ten and twelve, five six one ERA. Taking on Logan Gilbert, eleven and twelve with a three nine five ERA. Atlanta's coming to town for a weekend series, uh, and then we're in that we're in the midst of kind of a weird scheduling situation and a lot of good teams coming or uh, we're facing a bunch of good teams or teams that have had our number. So it hasn't been the smoothest of sailing. We have a four and a half game lead over the Houston Astros. They're five and five in their last 10. We are six and four in our last 10, including the four losses that you see on the screen. Oh, <sighs> Atlanta. Three games against the defending World Series champion. We're coming off a pretty bad loss to the White Sox. Probably shouldn't have been that lopsided. I should have turned two and got out of a bases loaded jam in the seventh. Maybe should have brought in a different pitcher. It's easy to kind of, it's, it's easy to go back and look at what went wrong. You know, learn from it, do better at it. And that's hopefully what we can do today. The offense wasn't really there, even though we had scored eight runs on average the previous three games. We really quieted down. I got impatient. We had some really quick early innings. That stuff kind of compounds as the game goes along. I get too aggressive. And I just wasn't seeing the ball super well. A lot of stuff that was either I drove into the ground or popped up. Nothing really hit super well, uh, with the exception of like a home run. A couple hits there, here and there, but... Missed a couple opportunities in the bottom of the seventh with the bases loaded, the bottom of the fifth with a couple on, and we ended up falling by four. But that's all right. That's okay. The White Sox, the, the, uh, let's take, actually take a quick peek at the wild card. The Yankees and the Astros. Wow, the Yankees are on a tear. They have won five in a row. The Rays are still four games out. The Tigers are five and a half out. You're probably going to be Rays, or excuse me, Yankees, Astros. Probably going to be in that uh, those two wild card spots, but uh, each of the five teams that are currently in the playoffs have given me trouble in some form or fashion. We did, uh, with the exception of the Yankees, they have uh, we have struggled against them. The Yankees, surprisingly, the team probably the maybe the best team in that group, and we played the best against them, which is a little surprising. We're playing a full game. We're wearing alternate one. You already know how this goes. We're at T-Mobile Park. It's going to be partly cloudy today. Logan Gilbert on the mound. We have our lineup ready to roll, which means we can get things going the way that we like to get them going. Key Brian Hayes in at third. Ty France getting switched out for Abraham Toro. Um, Dom T. Williams for Jake Fraley. I think that is it at the moment. Now we tinker around with this lineup. Adam Frazier is going to go down here. Kyle Lewis will go there. That will go here. Uh, that person will go here. Flip there. Key Brian Hayes. All right. Dom T. Williams, Kyle Lewis, Cattell Marte, Mitch Hanniger, Adam Frazier. Yeah, Key Brian Hayes, Abraham Toro might be a little low in the lineup. Tom Murphy. Boy, if it was a left-handed pitcher, I'd probably put him at five. But with a righty, we'll drop him a little bit lower. I think this will work. We'll be all right. Baseball every day at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. We got a good team coming here. Four or three, excuse me, like star players and then Ronald Acuna Jr. who I would assume has the star but the the heatness of his hitting is uh, is overtaking so. drive, welcome to T-Mobile Park Interleague Baseball on MLB the show the Atlanta Braves taking on the Seattle Mariners and now first pitch your coming your way Seattle next Mariners. All right, there is Kyle Lewis. 
Logan Gilbert is on the mound today. 28 starts with an 11, with an 11 and 12 record, a 3.95 on the ERA, 184.2 innings pitched, 169 hits, a WHIP of .94, five walks when that is factored in, and 138 strikeouts. Yesterday's game or uh, Wednesday's game, I should say, just had a lot of a lot of hits. We weren't able to survive all of those hits. Um, but we'll try again today, and we'll see what we can do. I do. I have switched back to the this green controller, so we'll see if that poses a problem. For whatever reason, the connection did not look was not stable in the last game, so I switched controllers mainly to make sure that the battery would get charged. I hope. In the air yeah. on the Not a terrible start. Makes the grab, and there's one away. Not a second. The shortstop. Dan Looks like a nice day in Seattle. Happy Friday, everybody. We're doing it. We're ending. Uh, we're getting towards the, the end of this season. Strike one. Wild. Thanks to all of you who have uh, taken the ride with me. If you got on early in the season or if you're just showing up now thanks so much appreciate it guys fastball but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone now you're in a tough spot Ooh, that was a really bad piece that one really sailed on me no score just getting got a little anxious with it i guess next offering this is count one and two Can't put him away here. Ooh. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Crawford Two away here. In time. And Swanson is set down. Batting third. The center fielder, number 13. Ronald. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And fouled off. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only Ooh, 20 years slow. old. And he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Way too slow. Pretty bad Here's slider the there, but we get Acuna Jr. to roll and over it. And uh, Down in order, one, two, three breaks. there. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball. Hopefully you enjoyed yesterday's Around the, the League. A sloppy, rainy game. Uh, not Coming a lot of picks. First. And our pitcher in this game, Waskari Noah. Waskari Noah. I was not even close. 28 starts, a 10 and 12 record, 5-6-1 on the ERA. Wow. Not even remotely in the vicinity. Thompson Williams. Enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get slider at 87, a four seam team. at 99, circle change at 90, and a two seam at 99. And we'll take a look at a four seam fastball in for strike number one. Sam Haggerty went deep in the last Mariners game, scored one run in the bottom of that uh, seventh inning, but disaster struck just a little too soon for us. Misses, and it's a ball and a strike. We also gave up a ton of hits, so. We're already off to a better start because we gave up a bunch of hits, maybe even a run. Whew, big swing on a circle change. Way too early. Either one, something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Well, he's so See if we can get the, the other way. Gets offense back into its groove. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Righty delivers. Swing Big swing on a circle change out. and a miss. And Have not even out. seen his primary this pitch, which is the slider. Uh, it was just four seams and circle changes. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And it's that's away. a big miss right there. 
too early. That missed inside, and it's one and two. One down, base is empty. And now That's two outside. And two. Two and two. Just a weak fly ball this time. Swanson brings <laughs> it in, and there's two away. Batting third. I need to drive his pitch count up or when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver get a lot of hits on him. On the ground, See if I can right drive him out of this game. No, oh, go to first. Stay to first. Stay to first. Stay to first. That was a nice throw. I think with a primary pitch slider, I'm very susceptible to that, and I'm already susceptible to the the circle change. So these right-handed hitters, I think, are going to be in for a world of hurt. If I can get somebody who has... Oh, just kidding. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're good. It's cool. Two run home run Mitch Hanniger. He has been swinging the bat really well lately. He had five ribbies and one of the wins against uh, Chicago. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there Ooh, by the that's a good start. It's a really good working. start for us. That but uh, that's what I was hoping to see. I was a little worried because I was in the middle of saying that uh, the right-handed hitters I might have a little bit of trouble with if he starts throwing that slider primarily, but he hasn't really messed with it. Four seams and circle changes. Lifted in the air right center field. Flashes the leather on the running catch. That's all right. 420 XP and a Mitch Hanniger home run. Puts the Mariners up 2 nothing. Courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two zip. New inning getting started, and now it's going to be Austin Wright. The first line of the pitch. Austin Riley. That one just not misses. clean. I don't know what. Ball and no strikes. And a pitch. That's Top better. of the zone for a called strike. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Oh, God. Too slow. Ugh. One, two now. There we go. Like that high strikeout. Right past him. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched that him up it. on the inside the part of the plate. Could get around Miles. on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job. Definitely right seem to be doing better throwing it to the Nothing right rather than the left. Well, that was pretty all right. That's a generous strike, but just from a strictly, like, down portion, that's uh, pretty all right. Wow. Okay. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Adam Duvall at the plate. Swings through that one. Big swing on a curveball. Okay, that's a lot. Well, I thought it was going to be better than it was. I was like, that's a lot of green, and then it was like 65%. The pitch. And a swing All right, so we're generating some strikeouts. Something we were not able to do in yesterday's game. Here. They trail things here, 2 nothing. Back in Seattle, bottom of the second. Here's the third baseman, Keith Ryan Hayes. The third 
baseman, Keith Ryan. You know him, back to work. To the left side, There's the slider. Well Makes sense I was very early on it. I did cheat down low with, uh, with Hanniger. I figured righty on righty he would try to throw toward that outside corner. And I got, again, Hopped under up. that pitch, late on it. That's and when I just got to let go. I'm not looking right. anywhere near where it's coming in. Batting seven. The first baseman, Abraham Toro. So up next, Abraham Toro. Yeah, the first Way inside. Is not close. The pitch. Oh. Early on it. Damn it. The pitch. Oh, that was a bad swing. What are you doing? That's not what you want to see. Got me with a slider. Absolutely perfect pitch right there. This job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the ball. And tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was Bad ready enough. to swing it on the first Not pitch. A lot of hitters tell themselves, JP. line drive over the infielder's head. Well, That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. J.P. Crawford will hit next. He was 0 for 4 in Wednesday's game. Ooh, that one's in there. That is... Long. All right. Pitch. And Way outside. At the belt and fires. Swing and a ball. Oh darn it! That was a bad swing. I thought maybe it'd be a bloop shot, but shouldn't have swung at it. Thought maybe I got lucky. Back at T-Mobile Park. Top half of the third inning. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Off of the, break, the designated hitter, Marcel Ozuna. And a pitch. That one in there across the letters. Pitch. Foul ball. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Going right back to that fastball. This is four straight fastballs. Down on strikes. Kind of worked and out with the check swing down. there. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right, right now. Again. And now it's Travis Darno at the plate. Darnot. First offering and it oh, just interesting. Misses. That's a ball. And a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And here it comes. Ooh. And a count one and two. The line to kick the pitch. That one the other way. It puts the Damn, squeeze. That is not where I wanted that slider. I wanted that slider out of the zone. Thankfully, Frazier in the perfect position to make the catch, but not the pitch I was looking for there. That one fouled off. Hmm. Oh boy. 
Tap back to the mound. Throw over to Toro. Oh, take that extra step, get three. set, throw it to first. Braves, you we're, down. Uh, One, two, three. we're out of that inning. Down two nothing. Three hits for the Mariners, two runs scored, thanks to Mitch Hanniger. Time to buckle down offensively. We have him at 24 pitches, which is better than uh, we did yesterday. So we have improvements on both sides of the ball. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. There we go. A lot of those I feel like I get like really good contact, and then they just kind of stay in the air a little too long, and they're able to get, get the catch. But that was a nice, nice drive. Lewis getting ready to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Okay. Went too far that time. It's one and two. Kicks and deals. Oh, he got me with the slider. Oh, it's so slow. One gone. Oh. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. You know him. Over to first. Thompson Williams. Back easily. And a 1 0. -oh. That one. Just a foul. little early on that. Damn it. Here's a 1 1. On the ground, the first, and that one finds its way through. Send Throw him to third. third, 81 speed, and more than enough. Off line, safe at third. He kind of rolled now over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough yeah. behind it to shoot it through. For it. A little surprised that this was able to squeak through. It's a, it's a nice so extension. Oh, <laughs> great! Right into the play. Stop! 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 Oh my God! No! There's a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send it back to the dugout. In the air, left field. Schwarber moving under it. Makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. Okay, I will take it. Two awful, ugly, terrible swings. Still gets a sacrifice fly, but I will take that every day. Would have loved one of those yesterday. Change the complexion of the game. Maybe I'm a little more attentive to the needs of the pitching situation. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. First offering misses the mark. I mean, just two awful swings at the slider. Way too early, just ugh. That clips a corner. Disgusting. I hate that that's a strike. Left hand batter waits. In there. And so now one and two. We gotta be really careful of a circle change out of the zone. Off the outside edge and now. That is not what I thought it would be, but I mean a, a correct call on my part. Get on the ground. Ah, right to him. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do okay. it. So we push one more across so thanks to the sacrifice run, fly. Hits, no errors, and, a man left. and that's uh, uh, three ribbies now the just for Mitch Hanniger. So let's get on base and let's get Mitch Hanniger up to drive in some more runs.
Love the sacrifice fly there. Love the speed. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The second baseman, Ozzie. The right hander back to work. Tapped softly on the ground. Toro collects. Whew. Tosses to That's the That's a pitcher. tight play right there. And That's the difference. We go back. You want to go back to the game on Wednesday, and you want to talk about that seventh inning. The difference between a double play, perhaps, um, is having Toro at first, who has about 70 speed, versus Ty France, who is a 21 speed. In there for strike one. It was a huge, messy play. I don't know that I read it super well or correctly, but the distance if he keeps this up. Right side. Ooh. The flip to the pitcher covering, and Swanson is set down. The center fielder, number 13. Ronald. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. First time up, he grounded to third. In there, and it's Owen Wong. Um, man. Two down, don't That's seventh on. inning. The seventh inning, I, I know I've been now a focus a lot on the misplay even. that led to four runs, but... The whole inning, top to bottom, was brutal for me. And that one handled. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. And the Braves go down quietly. They trail in this one, 3-0. Nice inning, man. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off leading the bottom up. of the fourth, the Key Brian Hayes. The third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. And a pitch. All Way out there. of the zone. Right-hander deals. Just out of the zone. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Here comes a pitch. Oh, that's a bad swing. No guarantee that's going to be a, a strike. Kind of just giving him a freebie there. 2-1 count. That secondary is his primary. Ooh, that's a nice four seam. Got to be wary of the off-speed way out. Primary slider or the third. Yeah, oh, there's the slider. So now three and two. Oh, Pop darn it. Right way side. too late. Squeezes Got it. super it under it there. The bat, the first baseman. Abraham Toro up next for the Mariners. Yes. Oh, I got under that one as well. Darn it. Oh, that was a slider. A hanging slider. Gross. Very positive sign for him and for his team. I'm not going to swing that, you sicko. That's just third. bad. That's just Picks really up. poor. Zips it across. That ends the inning. Mariners go down quietly it's so there. cold in this corner. The air keeps turning on and just circles in this freaking corner. Back in Seattle, here's Austin Riley. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the Austin. leadoff, man. I need a good and bad out of him right here. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swing and a miss. The odd innings have been the good innings for the Mariners and their offense. Even innings, not so much. I was happy with the way that started, even though it wasn't out with Key Brian Hayes. It was still a long at bat. Not the same cannot be said for the other two. Just gross. And delivers outside. The wind of the pitch stays alive. Come on. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. 
Oh, come on. You've been given that outside area a little bit. Right hander kicks deals. That one hammered left field back there. Okay. Up against the wall Whew. and makes the catch. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle Schwarber. Next offering. Oh He's down my low. goodness. The Braves yet to pick up a hit here. That oh, misses. come on. And Are you no, serious? That is facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Left hand hitter waits. And that one I, I can't believe foul. both of those were balls. Specifically pitch number two. Next one just misses. And it's three and two. And a pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So they get hmm. a man aboard. With a really disagree. Field. One of those two pitches should have probably been a... Seems like Should have probably been exactly a hit. What he was looking for right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Adam Duvall next up for the Braves. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Schwarber over at first with one away. Next oh my God, are you serious? Why'd your zone get so tight all of a sudden? You got to be kidding me, man. Baldy stays alive. Swing and a miss. And that was, he struck uh, him out. And hmm. two away now. So now the DH spot. Board, Marcelo Zuna went down on strikes Marcelo. his first time through. Oh, Ground ball up the middle. And it's through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on. I'm a little hesitant out. to throw too now close to the edge. I want strikes. Travis Dardo. Over oh one so far. And that's in there for strike one. Tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Ripped to short. Snagged on a bounce. Fires to first, third okay. Gave up uh, the first couple of hits of the game, but still down three nothing. Don't uh, don't let any runs cross. That's good news. The bad news is the strike zone got weird. Got real tight there. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now for Seattle, JP Crawford. The Mariners. You can see the right there. JP Crawford. Pitch. Outside. Now there's no guarantee I could have swung it one of those, but that's a big dumb swing. Righty delivers. Bounce to the right, and it goes just foul. His circle change has been inconsistent. Stays alive. You can see uh, his first pitch was a circle change way outside, like pretty flat. Uh, and then his second pitch was a circle change that really dropped. Whew. Next offering is fouled back. That one misses. Two and two. The pitch. Ooh, I thought that was going to be caught. A couple of hits that I've pushed to that uh, that first base side, the right field side, that have actually gone through, gotten past him. I'm, uh, kind of, it's been a little surprising. 
is the Mariners' leadoff man, Dom Thompson Williams. In there for strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. Swung on, belted. That's gone. That's back. There. That's gone. That's gone. That's gone. Bangs off the wall. Lead runner Get back to up. first. Damn it. How was that not out of the park? Oh, how was that not out? Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Darn it. A little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with Okay, so we're going to get a new pitcher, which is good news. It's not as good news as I thought it would have been. Just because he didn't throw the slider as much as I assumed he would. It's his primary pitch. We saw mostly four-seam fastballs and circle changes. The slider was in there every once in a while. We had that couple ugly swings with uh, with Haniger. Yeah, with Haniger. But it wasn't quite as much of a, a problem as I thought it would be. So let's see what we can get out of uh, Trissant here. Or Tucson. Here's the center field. A sinker at 95. Lewis. It's curveball at 78. That is a huge problem right there. That is 17 miles an hour difference. Splitter at 89. Four seam at 96. First There's a curveball at 76. Hitters the coaches, uh, the managers out there, like, just throw your off speed stuff. They cannot figure it out. To the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read. And can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Chris, you look at it, these are the spots where guys can come on, pitch well, instill some confidence in the manager, and all of a sudden they're pitching higher leverage spots of the postseason. That's... Well, in this final month, I mean, this is an audition period for the call ups, but it's also for that marginal reliever that was on the roster throughout the season to maybe step up. That's a good swing, right? There. Just roster. stay alive. A couple of curveballs have missed really high. I don't trust that to be the thing, considering that he has a sinker at 95. Curveball at 76 got me. Damn it. I knew that was going to be a problem, and you saw it right there. Way too early on that. First offering is fouled ball at 76 again way too early. talking about a guy that's, you know, Perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. I'm so Stripped upset with the way this bit. is going. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Charlie Morton up and loosening in the pen. Muller getting loose as well. That why? Definitely not a parte for Cattell Marte. Well, you rarely ever see three curveballs in a row now because that's right one of those fielder. pitches that's most effective when you haven't seen it recently. You might see three sliders in a row, but right there, he was feeling that. This is good ball. managing he by the. Uh, Haniger, the batter down. I can't adjust. I cannot slow ball. myself down for this curveball. It is so slow. Two on, two outs. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Well done behind the I, dish. Deep breath. Crawford, the lead runner at second. Thompson Williams on at first with two down. Okay, got the splitter. It's still way too early. The 2 And that one missing low. It, 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 oh, I'm thinking way too much about it. I am so nervous. Because, I mean, all three of those swings with Marte were bad. That one's still... That is still early. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Darnell throws the first in time. And they take care of Hanniger for the out. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Mariners leave a couple, but they're on. That might be the most embarrassing up. series of swings I've had all season. It's they're nowhere near the zone. I'm swinging at it every freaking time. Every right, fucking time I'm swinging at that goddamn pitch. Number six. Now in for the Braves, Orlando the Arcia. Orlando Arcia. That hits the dirt. 
And that is ball one. Um, did you, why? Why are you doing this, Tom Murphy? I thought maybe we could just throw like 55 curveballs. Stop calling for the curveball. With their timing today, good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next pitch misses out. Why do you want the cur all four of them? You have called for the curveball. That one in for a strike, two and two. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. Uh, and uh, through for a hit. Darn so it. On base to start the that sucks. Two strike hits. It's been a tough stretch to the plate lately. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back. That was awful. That was awful. There's just no one there to knock it down. Albies, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Okay. I apparently need to get a reliever going immediately. And, now with nobody and I don't have Casey Sadler, but I do have Justin Dunn. Swanson, up for the, the location's not there, and, and even when I'm... Miss. No outs. Runners at first and second. Next well, that was a disgusting a curveball. Please don't call that anymore. Please stop. And you ball. are squeezing the hell out of me. What on earth? The next offering misses. And a count is three and one. Everything about this is getting under my skin. And now the count filled up By the way, I would have been livid if that was a ball call. Okay. Big out right here. Um, I don't understand. We haven't really called the curveball much at all in this game, and all of a sudden we watch somebody throw a curveball, and he goes, oh, yeah, let's just throw all sorts of curveballs. But I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. And a foul ball. The 01. Next offering is outside. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Are you serious? Oh, and now a wild pitch. Nothing. I don't have the curveball. I just don't have it. I love it if he'd stop calling it. Next pitch. I am. I am. Now three and one. He hasn't fallen behind in the count. I got to take a timeout. I don't understand why the pitching mentality has changed. I don't know what happened to this guy's strike zone. The last two top halves of these innings have been, they've been so tight when we have seen pitches routinely called earlier in this game. Out like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Foul ball there. Two on, one out. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. Runner around third in the score. Frazier. Got him. Got him. Get him at the... But they do get I'm so frustrated with the way this is going. Gotta calm down. I have got to settle down. I gotta get this figured out. We're bringing Justin Dunning. I believe in him. He plays well, pitches well. We can we can do this. We can do this with Justin Dunn. 45 games with a 4 and 2 record, 65 innings, a 194 ERA, no walks, 59 strikeouts. Excellent relay in to get the runner at home. And that's a pretty fast runner too at nearly 80 speed, 79 speed. The calls have been inconsistent and frustratingly so. Um, location hasn't really been there. That's a really bad pitch. Uh, but I also, I just don't understand what the, why the pitching mentality switched. Why it was all of a sudden a lot of curveballs. Go back look at those other innings there. We didn't call them a lot. There's a lot of sliders, a lot of four seams. One problem I'm going to run into with Justin Dunn, if I can get out of this without too much trouble... 
Uh, my timing with him is going to be off. And now Austin Riley. Good start. It's on one. We can give up a run. We're all right. And on second, two down. And a foul ball. Check swing, got him. There we go. All right. Get out of there. You're only giving up one. Excellent cut down at the plate. Fantastic. Now, going into the bottom half of the sixth inning. Because the goal here is to get done through seven and then uh, Castillo Seawall. back to work. Desant starts with another curveball. That's way out of the zone. And that was a splitter that was way high in the zone. They have brought in a guy that is absolutely just an absolute nightmare for me. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And again, we have another pitcher who was not using his primary pitch. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. That was almost inside. Of course, as soon as I say that, he throws his primary pitch. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And in a truly unfortunate event, we were not able to get the ball out of the park with Dom T. Williams. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Abraham Toro stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1 0. Just missed. Next offering misses. Three balls, no strikes. Swing and a miss as that he was a terrible that swing. Time. Right handed reliever. And yeah, there's ball four. See what happens if we just don't swing? Gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. In the dirt. Oh my the God! It's it not even close. They're so bad. At the belt and fires. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and two. Toro off of first with two away. Pitch kicks away from Darno. I'm really bad about advancing on pitches like that. And it's important in spots like this, too. Two outs. Now what's this? Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Kicks and deals. Ah, uh, darn. Short. Um... Uh, especially in, so in a situation like that, two outs, a run, a, a ball in the gap probably gets Toro home. Obviously, it didn't work that time. Hit it right to him. Much better on that. Still a pretty bad swing there with uh, with uh, excuse me with uh, Murphy, but it's a little less embarrassing. I mean, I had two runners on with nobody out, and then just. They brought in a new pitcher, and I completely fell apart. Uh, unbelievably fell apart. So. Know that I really want to throw another slider here? And here it comes. And one and two. One and two. 
just misses with it. Gosh, just missed. Left hand batter waits. Got him. Okay, there we go. Chase the change up and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts more oh, man. Deals. Probably am not leaving myself enough room for error. Especially when I'm getting... Ooh, boy, that was not great. Especially when I'm trying to... Throw it right into a location. Swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Oh! That's a strike! Where is your zone? Oh my god! The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 2-2 two -two now. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You that should have been a strikeout. Are you hitting me with that? 3-2 on the way. And that one hammered way back there. And forget it. Adam Duvall blasts one out. His 19th home oh, of the year, and they that is the result of bad feet. umpiring. Are you kidding That's me with those definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, <sighs> taking that outside fastball now, and driving it the opposite way out of Marcel. the ballpark? You want to bottle that type of approach. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. And there's a foul ball. I don't have the location. I don't have the tying run at the plate. Up the middle. You've and that's a base hit. And that puts the tying run. I am so frustrated with this game right now. I am so frustrated with the way this is going. I know Atlanta is a good team. I get that. I understand that. That was a strike out pitch. That was a strikeout pitch that led to a home run. I was so afraid of walking him, which I probably shouldn't have been, that I, I knew I wasn't going to get a call. Ah. Things could change. Ball right side could be two. Toro to second. I was so worried about walking him that I pitched it too far inside because I knew I wasn't going to get the call on the outside because he already it's fucked me three, so many times. Game. This is infuriating. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. For the Mariners, the shortstop. J.P. The right-hander back to work. Crawford. That was a pitch that I needed, and I was too busy looking at a camera. God damn it. Darren O'Day, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Newcomb getting cranked up as well. Oh, and two as he waves. I hate this guy. I fucking hate him. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Darno on to first. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Now back. Left field. Everything is compounding. They brought him in, and it's frustrating me at the plate. He's someone that you might and not then it's just having elite level speed, but he can absolutely went into the pitching. move, and it is a factor in his game. And it's fouled away. We've missed a couple of the curveballs that have been left a little up in the zone. The Murphy one's a big a miss. Pitch. That was a two-run home run. Now wanted a one. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Next pitch is outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Mm -hmm. 
The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Really lucky that I got a piece of that. Still very early. I just can't. I'm not seeing it well. Line drive work. and a base hit right there. Just kind of sliced that one into center. One down. And up next for Seattle, Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis. And first offering is fouled off. His confidence has to be super high. Yeah, it's really high with that the curveball. I want him to throw it just one right too many to times. Plate. Like that. Oh, That's exactly what I wanted. That was a positive scream. I just knew that it was too loud for the microphone. Let's fucking go. That is exactly what I wanted to see. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Whoo. Fuck yeah. Yelled so loud, I froze my computer. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right he got away with it earlier. Patel Marte up next that to is ex Mariners. literally exactly what I wanted to see. A curveball. He threw it one too many times. His... Oh, I don't think it shows the release timing if you hit it, but it just came out of his hand badly, and I was able to take advantage of it. And then I, he threw it again, and I was off. But Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Oh, that's just good contact good right to a guy. Crack. Damn it. Perfect timing and everything. Up next for Seattle, the right fielder, Mitch Henniger. Whoa, whoa. Stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That's in for a strike. I think that might end up being part of the problem as well. It's something I haven't probably paid much attention to. That might go. That might go. That might go. Gone. Yes. Yes. Let's fucking go. 50 home runs for Mitch Hanniger. Uh, what I was going to say before I interrupted myself by crushing that fucking ball uh, was that um, I, I should pay more attention to like how much confidence they have in their pitch because I think part of the problem I run into, and I probably should have realized this a long time ago, but part of the problem I think is that I start swinging at pitches that they're like not super great at, but I give them so much confidence in it that I just keep seeing it over and over again. Probably should have thought about that 140 games ago or whatever, but Base is empty with two uh oh, <laughs> oh God! The heading difficulty has increased. The second baseman, Adam. Prepare for a slump. Pitch downstairs, and it's one and zero. Oh. Ooh. Popped up to the left into foul ground, and that drops foul. The one one out to center. Swanson on his way over, Darn. makes the grab on the run just early on it. That is that. But the long ball was working in Ooh. this inning, not once, but twice. Now, it's here's now what we can do two. Justin Dunn, I know, has already pitched an inning, inning plus. What, do I, what I'd kind of like to do here, you had a four-run lead. Here's the first baseman, Orlando Arcia. The the first and a pitch. Number nine, Orlando strike on the inside corner. That's strike one. Maybe get two outs out of him in this one. 
Oh boy. In the air, center field, uh, Lewis. Then bring Lewis Castillo in. Of course, if if we get quick outs. Hmm. Now bat second baseman, Ozzy. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. There we go. There for strike one. Where were some of these calls earlier, my man? Here's a high giving up some contact. Gives me, settles under it and makes the gives me a little bit of a pause there, but I think outs. we'll go ahead and gamble it a little bit here. The batter will be the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Dansby. If we give up a hit, we'll we'll bring in Castillo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. Going two now. Uh -oh. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Ooh, the that was a tight play, but a nice play by Dunn. There we go. That's what I want to see. Got two innings out of him. Perfect. It's going to be the Castillo show coming up in the top half of the ninth. Yes. It is unfortunate that the hitting difficulty went to Veteran Plus. Kyle Muller. Mueller. 96 miles an hour on a four-seam fastball, a slider at 89, a curveball at 83, circle change at 90, and a two-seam at 96. Out to short, Swanson gloves it, gets it to first, one gone to the bottom of the eighth. Fastball grew right down the middle, usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. There we go. Line drive, base hit. Just late. The catcher number two. Now it's Tom oh. Murphy. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Did not even realize what I was hitting there, my bad. That's outside. First pitch just misses. Oh God! That was a terrible sign. Ninety-five. It might be time to really choke bad. up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. No, Sean. No. Upstairs. Eddie Diaz. I mean, that's a. It's at least at worst a three-one count. Stands at first with one out. Rolled over to third. Okay, and there we go. Take a base hit after a really bad swing on that fastball. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The batter, number three. J.P. Crawford gets first a chance up. to hit. J.P. Crawford. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Ooh, he actually caught that. Huh. Dom Thompson Williams up next for the Mariners. Thompson Williams. Bad swing on that circle change. Oh, I gotta get my guy. My main man, Castillo. First and second. Ready to throw some heat? Way outside. outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Left hand hitter waits, and that one got a You know, Boo, you That's all right. That brings up Kyle Lewis. To have a good feel for the game. I say after the game, you step into the box. I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Oof, truly unfortunate. He's actually going to leg that out. Oh, my goodness. An insurance run here in the bottom 
of the eighth. Yes. Two outs, bases loaded. Cattell Marte up next That's for the Mariners. Number four, Cattell. First pitch, not close. I have not played nearly as well as I would like with Cattell Marte in his power position against left-handed pitchers. It's the Mariners seven and the Braves two. All right, Diego Castillo, let's go. Let's get a victory here. Let's get a win against Atlanta, huh? We got, we got off to a much better start. It's just the, the middle innings were a little weird. We're hopefully not going to get pinched too much in the zone with uh, the umpire. Back in Seattle, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Leading off for the break. And a pitch. The center fielder, number 13. Gets the Ronald slider in there Acuna. for a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. And it's one and one. Righty delivers. That pitch in for a strike. And a count one and two. Let's expand the zone a little bit, see if we can get him to swing. Yeah, no, he's too good at to baseball. And a swing and a miss, down on strikes, one out. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Now yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching base. out of this staff Austin. so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Now it's going to be Austin Riley. And first offering is fouled off. Castillo, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Hit weakly on the ground. Throw over to Toro. Now only one out remaining. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Schwarber stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, pretty much forget about it. On the ground. Game. Let's go. Woo. That was uh, that was a weird one. That was a weird game. A victory. That's good. That's what I like to see. And we're doing exactly what I want out of this stretch of games. We're facing a lot of tough teams. Or Cleveland that's kind of had our number. We're putting some good runs on the board. There's another seven spot uh, for us. Obviously, a, a big home run helps. But... We're, we're right at that, you know, just kind of trying to get through this 10-game stretch or whatever it is at 5-5. Five and five. That's kind of just it. I don't need the sweep, so we don't have to blow out every team every game. It's a little disappointing when the, the offense doesn't show, like in the last game on Wednesday. But that's, you know, that's just how it goes. No big deal. Logan Gilbert is going to get your win. He pitched 5.2 innings, gave up 5 hits. Struck out five, one walk, one earned run. I already can't remember how to pronounce his name, so I apologize. He gets the loss. Four innings pitched, seven hits, three runs, or three strikeouts, no walks, three earned on his line. We got off to a good start with our player of the game, Mitch Hanniger. He was two for three. He had two home runs. He had four ribbies, scored twice. Kyle Lewis with a three-run blast, I think. Or was it a two-run? Two run blast? I can't even, I can't remember. Uh, either way, 
Two for five, he had a home run. Three ribbies, a run scored by himself. Dom T. Williams was three for four. He scored twice. Cattell Marte was two for five. He scored once. Got off to that good start in the first. Got a 2 nothing lead. Felt pretty good about that. We had them no hit through, I think, four. Um, the fifth is where it started to get a little wobbly. We gave up a run in the sixth. No big deal. An excellent cut down at the plate. Uh, really helped us. We got three in the seventh. One more in the eighth. They... The other... The, the pitcher... Whose name... I can't remember it. I'm so sorry. He pitched pretty well. Um, he did give up seven hits. He gave up three earned. Got the... Uh, kind of just guessed on that first pitch we were able to get a no doubt home run in the first inning because I figured he would go low and outside against a, a righty versus a righty but he pitched really well it was a really good pitching change when they brought in the new guy and I just whiffed at everything that might be like the single grossest inning from start to finish like how it started versus how it ended disgusting Two on with nobody out and then just struck out with everyone. It was awful. Absolutely heinous. Uh, not a super big fan of, but we, I mean, okay, hold on. Let me, let me rewind here. It was a disgusting inning. We were able to come back. We got him to throw some more pitches the next time around. And then the third time we were kind of, we were in the third inning of his outing. That was when the curveball really started to not work. And I just, begged i just wanted so badly for him to miss one and as soon as i said that he missed one kyle lewis took advantage let's fucking go now not super thrilled with the home run that we gave up that should have been a strikeout that should have absolutely 100 percent been a strikeout that was a strike on that pitch i then got hesitant because i didn't want to walk him and i knew i wasn't going to get the calls on the outside or even low because his Strike zone just got really tight all of a sudden. Gave up a home run. Not thrilled with that. The other thing that I wasn't super thrilled with that uh, during that game was the fact that when they brought in the pitcher, the new pitcher, um, they started throwing, they threw a bunch of curveballs. I don't think we threw very many curveballs throughout the early stages of that game. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, we should throw a curveball. Maybe that's an effective pitch. And he just kept calling for it. And I'm like, what is happening? That's so irritating. So the the frustration at the uh, with the hitting, when they brought in the new pitcher, kind of led into the pitching, or led into the, the hitting led into the pitching. The pitching kind of fed back into the hitting, where it was like, I'm already sucking here. And they just kind of consolidated and clustered together. But we got a win, 7-2. to two. That is good stuff. Game two tomorrow right here on YouTube.com slash, com slash Saunas, Saunasaurus Rex. Uh, we are going to see Max Fried. Six and five with a three, four, seven. Taking on Marco Gonzalez, 14 and four with a three, oh, five ERA. So if you'd like to watch that game, please be sure to tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific time for more baseball right here. Uh, every day we're almost done here 23 days left in the season 84 and 58 is 142 152 no that's not right yeah 142 uh so we have 20 games remaining 20 games remaining throughout the rest of the month first couple of days of october then we'll get into the playoffs hell yeah Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you tomorrow for game two against Atlanta right here. Good sports. Go Mariners.